Fresno State with Chasen Virgil, a four-year starter in high school, replaced Travon Boykin at West Mesquite High School in Texas. And will he be mobile? Likes to stay in the pocket, but it'll be tough versus this Alabama defense. Empty on first down, and underneath to Keyshawn Johnson, one of their top Fresno State Bulldogs, go back to work for their third offensive series. On the move, it's Keyshawn Johnson, the top target for Fresno State, out to the 30. Virgil looking underneath for Ronnie Rivers. That will. So Jeremy Pruitt told us this week. Virgil finds Scott, but quickly. Now his second year as the starter for the Bulldogs. Screen for Scott. And a first down for Demory Scott and more. Staying in bounds into the red zone. Here comes the offensive scheme. They get the ball out quick in a nice block. Again, get the ball in the playmaker's hands. Scott's one of those guys, fifth year senior. They're gonna move you. Scott underneath. Harrison made the initial contact. Alabama mixing up the coverage here, Adam. They just make a change, see if they can get one off. Bringing heat late. Underneath a first down for Rice. Jared Rice, the tight end, taken down by Wallace, but that moves the sticks. For Virgil, and that double move incomplete. Rocky, I was years ago making serious impact. Virgil underneath and it's Keyshawn Johnson for a first down. Let's check in with Chris Cotter. What's up, season one? To Maryland. Next week, Texas goes on the road to take on the USC Trojans. Good play by Damari Scott. Virgil. Good catch by Kyle Rittering, the tight end. He's got the first down out to the 40-yard line in front of Pooty Jones. When you're running the crossing route, you got to make sure you see what's in front of the receiver. Here he throws it to him, and there's literally a Bama player standing right there. He's able to kind of get the ball behind him right there. You want to sit down if you're the tight end. Setting up that bubble screen, and Johnson able to break a tackle. Man. Virgil under pressure, throwing it deep, diving attempt by Jameer Jordan, but could not corral it. Great effort by the junior, but in tight space, couldn't get it. They had to do a full 180, excellent concentration, just wasn't able to pull it down. Defenders right on top of him, but again, flush. For Jason Virgil, the one-time Mississippi State commit, goes to work to start the half. And it is Damari Scott with the catch. And the one thing for this young quarterback is, look, you're down 28-3. You come out and you forget about the scoreboard, and you try to win the second half. And they go out there. They need that. Scott again. And he's got the first down. You know, that's Marshawn Lynch, yep. Deshaun Jackson. So there's been some big-time names coming out of his offensive playbook. Five yards and a touchdown. Underneath for Scott. Good hit from better than ever. Virgil for Rice through his hands. That's nice protection up front. Virgil again, pocket passer. There was some room to run, but he lets the play develop, and he's getting a high five from Jeff Tefford because he likes his vision on this. Again, waiting for it, stepping up in the pocket. Look at the ball placement. He was stepping straight, but yet gets the ball out in front of the tight end's hands. You got to be able to pull that in for Jared Rice, unable to make that play. Virgil tosses incomplete. Minka actually huddled up with Beckton Boyman yesterday. I guess maybe a, a guy you played with in high school that also plays college football. Uh, Brandon Wilbur, he plays for Notre Dame. Modern, there you go. Yeah. 
Definitely brings a, a different mindset and really true, true pass concepts that Jalen Hurts can grow and understand and really nurture with to help him with the passing game. Learn the concept, now they're interchangeable. And then you look at how deep they are, six, seven deep with all these young players. If they know all the positions, now they can play more. That's what the coaching staff was emphasizing, the fact that those concepts have helped these young players. Interchange guys in and makes it much, much easier. Deep drop for Virgil here. Go back underneath. Bemeline, a third down and five for the Fresno State Bulldogs. Blitz from Fitzpatrick. Virgil gets rid of it into a tight window. Jameer Jordan took a shot. What a catch. Hey, I've been impressed by Fresno State overall. Yeah. They have not been scared. This is great job in the pocket. Look at his throw. That's a nice grab. And that's a big hit on the outside. That focus and be able to hold on to that ball, that's amazing. Things will change for this team, and they'll be good. Incomplete. Looking for Keyshawn Johnson. Buddy on defense, the offensive line as a whole, only two TFLs versus Alabama. That's impressive. Out of the backfield to hulk it. And gets stacked up near midfield this opportunity to work on that Monday night football broadcast but I will say this don't get too comfortable Rex <laughs> don't get too comfortable this offense was bare bottom last year all of a sudden now you see like, some good players some playmakers some guys that can catch the ball young tail bakes 236 yards passing a touchdown interception 77 yards rushing and a touchdown he had a big performance I'll tell you the one thing I'm interested to see about Kelly Bryant today. Keep at the receiver position, four deep at the running back position. So be a distributor in that game. Don't go out there and try to beat Deshaun Watson. Darian Grimm with a great grab on a very nice ball from Chase and Virgil. Touchdown Bulldogs. He's basically going to run a fade inside, get some turn. And this is a beautifully thrown ball by... Virgil, good concentration. Look, there's not a lot of open areas here as far as windows to get that ball. That's tight coverage by Carter on the outside. But again, this team has not 